Welcome everyone, I'm GT, I'm your host and today we're actually having a look at RimWorld. It's a really cool game and as you're capable of seeing, I have already done some work in. We've got some nice plants over here, we've got a little house and we started mining in the mountain as well. This game is RimWorld and it is made by Ludian Studios. It's a really cool game and I definitely recommend it. So we are here with five tribe men and tribe woman. One of them is me, GT, of course, and my little wife next to me is Stella. Then we've got Ilse, which is now working in the mines, and we've got Rick, her husband, going on to getting the boom rod. I hope not. Then last but not least, we've got Over, and he's sleeping in this room as well. But Over has been naughty lately. Over, well, he's doing a bit strange because he has been rebuffed by Stella. He's been trying to get a romance with my girlfriend. Over, we have to talk this out. So I put it back to play mode and we've got three dogs. One of them is Hector, the only one which is currently visible. The other ones, I'm not sure. But we've got two more, I'm pretty sure of it, except when they've died. They might have died. Oh no, there's another one. It is Rem, and Rem is bonded to Over. Over really likes Rem, and I think if Rem dies, Over is gonna get in trouble. The last dog is just coming out over here. It's Marty, and Marty is a brave fellow dog from Xperia. If you haven't noticed yet, or Colonel, or Tribe is called Xperia. It's a wonderful name, just like the channel. Follow up the Xperia. So far, we are producing three types of crops, as well as two crops, which are not really anything good for food. One of them is the hops plant, and the other one is the heel root. Heel root, well, we're gonna need that one to cure our villagers. Without it, they most likely die of an illness. Then we've got strawberries, really good food, but rice is even better to my opinion, and we've got a bunch of it here. We've got some nice cozy corn plants as well, and that is so far our food supply. Of course we can kill some of these animals as well, but I'm not sure if we want to go to that point yet. We've got a nice sitting area outside with 8 seats, which is a bit much, but still it works out. And this is a place where we come together and have our food. Then outside we've got two research benches. But Stella is only using one of them, because she is not capable of doing two jobs at once. That's a bit... Oh, he tried it again. Over, be careful. Don't you come near her. And well, that is how far our colon or tribe, I'm trying to say colony, but it's actually a tribe, is has come so far. And our future plans are actually inside the mountain because we're going to design a base right here in this little block of mountain over here. And I need to be careful not to let my citizens die. That's my biggest concern. So technically speaking, this place is really favorable for us. We've got one of those steam gazers really nice next door and these things well, a late game we can actually get electricity from them and they're really powerful. So that's why I'm really happy that one of them is located very near to our future base. The other really good thing is that up here we've got some rich soil and rich soil, well, it has got a speed boost for those crops over here. Normally they would grow at 100% but since it is rich soil it will get a fertilization factor of 140, which makes them go 1.4 times as fast. You see what I did there? The math? Yes? Alright? Well, that's great. Let's continue. So, who are all these guys? We've got 5 people in our tribe, and most of them I do not even know. Or, actually, I do know them. 
First off, we've got myself, I'm GT, and I'm right over here. Then we've got my wife, Stella, and then we've got two of my friends, Rick and Over. And Rick, well, he has taken his girlfriend with him to RimWorld, because Ilza is here as well. So, right now, we're just waiting until time passes by and we get that nice research done. So far, not much has been going on at here. I can tell you some stories, I can tell you some time what has happened on here so far. But for now, let's just wait and see what happens. I like how GT has been doing his job here. The floor looks way better already. But before we're finished here, we just need to get our orders in because these items have to be taken away into the deposit. I don't like these rocks, they are in the way. They stop our units from moving around properly. And my guess, you won't like it when one of those big boulders is actually in your sleeping room. So let's just get rid of them. So our food supply is finally solved again, the rice is being harvested and Rick is doing actually a good job. Well done Rick, I like what you're doing. So food has been solved but the heel root still has to be harvested and it seems to be going to take a little while. So in the meantime we just have to make sure that none of our tribe men are going to get hurt. If that is going to go alright then we don't have to worry. If they are going to get hurt, we're going to get trouble. And if you're worried that in here you're going to suffocate because of no air ventilation, well, why not build ourselves some ventilation shafts right over here. So now the place is going to be ventilated with air and you don't have to worry about not being able to breathe. That'd be terrible. Luckily, that does not happen, we're all gonna be fine. So I'm really, really waiting here until this research is finally done. The research right now is the only piece which has to be solved until we can continue with expanding. Because electricity is just the key to this game and I want to have some electricity fast. But electricity means guns, it means not having your food spoiled and it means just a certain amount of guaranteed victory. Although this game is kind of hard and punishing, so who knows, maybe we still die in vain. So far I do not really like it that Ilse and Rick do not have a room yet. I want to make a room as big as mine and Stella's. So for that we need to make a 6 by 7 expansion from the wall over here so that be six and this be seven let's go one lower actually from this point on or maybe this one over here so six by seven that should be fine there we go as soon as that is mined out we've got three nice rooms for me rick stella ilse and over to live in that's wonderful. So I want to make a pathway right over here going down into the mountain. Hopefully the raiders cannot break the mountain. I don't think so. Most likely they are just going up to our base on top of here. But we're going down here and then we're gonna add those expansions like the hospital. And I have to make sure the hospital looks good. Or I won't be satisfied myself. So let's have a look at myself. I have very low expectations, which is really good, and I'm actually feeling great. I'm joy filled and I ate a fine meal. Well, if that's good, then I'm really happy about it, because this is just great. My mood is at maximum right now, and <laughs> that's really nice. I did see a rotten corpse though, and that might be something we can actually take care of. And. The barracks are not fine, but we are taking care of that already. Uh, it's dark, he doesn't like it, and he doesn't like his environment. 
Well, that's to be ex expected from this place. It seems like we're going to be raided by Frank, Robbins and Tony. I don't like these people, but we're gonna take them out anyways. I have got my security place right over here and I know a little trick to make sure our tribe men and woman are not going to get hurt. First off, we're going to the architect's tab and we're going to the zone and area tab. And we're gonna make a new animal area. So manage areas, new animal area. Oh, new animal area. There we go. We close the tab and now we make animal area two right in front of our security sandbags. So now we just go to our docks, our animals, and we assign them to animal area number two. So once again, we had a tough fight and unfortunately I have the feeling something went wrong and I forgot to press the record button. Silly me. Well, over and Stella got hurt. It was a tough fight. We've got two of them laying down here and one of them is actually still bleeding out. Ouch. But there's not really much we can do right now. Stella, well, she has to be tended to. She has got a cut, but it does not seem to be need... Oh, she does need tending. Well, unfortunately, making her heal herself is quite difficult, so Rick is going to take care of it. And over, well, his injuries have already been taken care of by our lovely Stara. Stella, and I hope she is still unhurt. Frank, you are one unlucky bastard. He tried to run away, but he fell back down on the floor. Well, a social tap we cannot see yet, but he seems to be having quite a trouble. He was a shopkeeper in the past, and now he is a mafia boss. With that out of the way, he might be no longer the boss of the Mafia. Since our people didn't really like seeing those dead bodies by here, well, we're gonna make some graves. We're gonna try and put them into graves. Uh, not sure where though. I know a couple of places, but there are going to be a lot of graves in this area. We better think carefully. And I think this might be a perfect spot for us. Let's build three, four, five of them for now. And yeah, why not? Let's go with four more underneath. That should be fine. I mean, none of us have died yet. And only the ones who think they can handle us, we send them to their graves with knives, guns, and bows. Oh darn, I have not seen this happen before. Animals chasing after one of our units because we killed one of theirs. This is actually getting darn dangerous. Yeah, if you're gonna do it like that... Wait, I know a better solution. I know a better one. All of you, I want you to go right next to the door and Ilse, go inside. Run as fast as you can. Oh darn. Rick is going to get in trouble as well. Hopefully he doesn't die. Oh darn. Oh, that went wrong immediately. Go back inside over. So apparently they can break doors. Ouch. So we went back in time just a tiny bit because it would have been a waste if this was already the ending of the episode. Well, at least we learned something from it. Do not mess with those animals down below. These ones are very dangerous and you're gonna get hurt when playing with them. Don't be me. Don't be stupid, I'm telling you. We're gonna hunt some other animals instead and those are these two up here. 
closer to home and hopefully next time we don't die as quickly. This game is unforgiving hard and sometimes I really like it. Boom, the bat is placed back into position and we're just gonna watch this go and maybe build those walls up here as well because we want to get this room done. That's... So if that wasn't enough, one of the animals has gone mad. Um, I think if we just set it to hunt and we make sure Ilza is going to hunt it down, pardon me, then I think we will be fine. Let's see if her archery work is actually up to the task. And you, let's get you drafted and try to get you away from him as soon as possible. And he also started firing shots and we took him down. That was easier than expected. All right, over. Well, stay safe and go back to your bed and carry up. Don't die on me now and stop trying to romance my girl. Yes, I'm really serious about this. Rebuff by Stella five times. Don't you get it, mate? Well, I guess. So we've been able to build a superior bed in one go. That is amazing. Now we can set the owners and the owners of course are going to be me and Stella. So we now have got a new room which is just slightly better than the old barracks we had before. Technically we can also make sure that Rick and Ilsa keep living in here but they may not really like it. It's not such a beautiful room or is it? Let's have a look. It's actually kind of decent, but I like to have them over in the base because it's just slightly more safe. And with that out of the way and little GT walking over to his new place to live in. Well, I guess this was it for the first episode. I hope you don't mind that it has been already going on a bit beforehand. I had some trouble with recording, so I did it again. And here you are with the very first fresh episode of RimWorld, next one coming up soon and I really hope you liked it. So I'm now, go I'm now going to edit this down to hopefully a 20 minute video. I really hope you liked it, I really hope you did and then I will see you in the next one. Bye bye and follow up the experience next time.